Hi everyone. If you're a swimmer or a triathlete, you're probably finding it really frustrating that you can't get into the water and do a proper swim set at the moment. But you can maintain technique, strength and fitness really very, very well with a simple set of swim cords. My name's Joel Enoch. I'm a triathlon coach to world, European, British and Scottish champions and I've created this indoors swim cord workout for you to follow so that you can maintain your fitness and your form so that when the pools reopen you'll be ready to get back in the water and smash it. So follow along at home, here we go. So guys a couple of points before we begin, my setup is really simple, I've got two swim cords one of them is attached to the door handle. Now, you need to make sure that the door handle is secure before you pull on it. And also, if you're going to use a door handle as an anchor point, can I suggest that you don't pull straight out from the door, but like I am, you pull at a little bit of an angle. It's going to put less of a strain on the fixings. My other swim cord is hooked over a towel hook on the top of the door behind me. Uh, if you don't have one, you can even bend an old wire coat hanger to do exactly the same job, shut it in the door, uh, and that means that you can pull down on that hook uh, and it will stay secure in the door. It's a really cheap way of anchoring your uh, swim band. If you have a more firm, fixed anchor point, then great, use that. We're going to start a warm-up routine. That warm-up routine is going to be 45 seconds of each exercise, 10 seconds recovery, and we're going to start that in just a moment. So get yourself set up like this, elbow into the side, and we're about to start the first exercise. So guys, in 10 seconds, we're going to start the first exercise. It's internal rotations. So elbow into the side and just rotate in like that. There's the claxon, off we go, 45 seconds. Now you can hold your body still and just rotate like this. That means that the end of the movement is under the most strain from the pull cord behind. If you, however, rotate hand and body away and rotate shoulder to hand, you equalize the amount of strain through the whole movement, which can be a really useful way of making sure that you get an even strain all the way through the movement, all the way through the rotator cuff. So we're just gonna go through one of each exercise. At the end of this round, if you wanna do some more as a warm up, then you can just go back, pause the video, go back, and do it again. Good stuff, we're gonna to move to the other hand. So change sides. Three seconds. And rotating in. So you're looking for control on this, don't let that snap back, just let it rotate back, keep the elbow into the side, make sure all of the rotation comes within the rotator cuff. As well as a good warm up for our indoors workout, this is also just a really good warm up for you to do before you get into the pool. For any other normal swim, we want to make sure that we've got really, really good healthy shoulders, really good stability through a really good range of movement and all of these exercises will help to do that. So we're keeping the elbow in a set point, pivoting nicely. Good stuff. We're going to go back to this first hand and where we just pivoted in, we're now going to pivot out. So I want to go on this side. There we go. Elbow in and we want to pivot there. So pulling out. And again, you can keep your body set and just move the arm if you want. And it just means that the end of the movement is more resisted. If you want to equalize that, hug across, open up, hug across, open up, and feel your way into that. Stand nice and tall. Shoulder blades and shoulders low. Chest seated. Chest seated, shoulder blades seated, chest out. I mean. 10 seconds left. This is a harder exercise. You need to reduce the resistance to take a step towards your hand point, and that'll make it easier. Good stuff, changing sides. So exactly the same exercise on the other side. Pulling across, opening out. Off we go, 45 seconds. Again, you can keep the body still if you want. Just for a few, you can vary it up. That's nice to really feel 
how much the upper arm moves. And to practice keeping the elbow seated. Again, you can add in a bit more complexity. Twist the body if you want to. Either or, it doesn't matter. Keeping that elbow fairly still. Pivoting on the same spot there. Five more seconds. And then we're going to change to a downward pull. Good. So we change to the opposite arm. We put the hand up as if we're stopping traffic. And in three, two, one. We start to rotate down. So again, nice and tall body. Here, we're also holding through the core because naturally that is wanting to pull us back. So we're stabilizing through the core. So hold some tension here. You can also hold some tension through the glutes as well to keep the pelvis nice and still. Got 20 more seconds. With this downward rotation from the left hand side. Two seconds. Stuff. We're going to change sides. So we go into exactly the same start position here. Nice and tall. Elbow up, but let the elbow drop. There we go. Four to five seconds. Rotating down. This is a fairly easy warm up. We're not working too hard at this stage. It's just a chance to work through that full range, keep it nice and controlled, it's maybe going a little bit fast beforehand, and you can grip the handle to make sure it's nice and stable, if you do open up the hand like I did, make sure that that's not going to roll off your fingertips, so again under control, pivot the elbow at the same point, don't let it drop down. Okay, we're going to go back to the left hand, grab it from the top, elbow up, sorry, elbow in that position, and we're going to bring the hand up. So we've got upwards rotation there, so far down to as far up as possible, again, just controlling it, working through the full range. Feel your way into it. Increase the range as you go through if you can. Five seconds we go. And then we'll change sides. Same exercise. There we go, on the right hand side. So we'll go from here. Elbow nice and high. You want this elbow forward as well, doesn't it? Fall back. And then bring this up. Obviously, as you do this, some of you are going to have a lot more strength than others. So, just always with every single exercise we're going to do in the warm up and in the main set, is adjust the tension by simply stepping forward. And the band under more tension to make it harder. Or stepping backwards easing the tension off so the exercise is easier. Here, we're still mainly just thinking about form and control all the way through the movement. It's the best range you can while keeping the form good. Okay, good stuff. We're now on the next one. We're gonna change this so we double that over there, come over our head, and then push high for tricep extension. So we're warming the triceps up now. This is another one where you're gonna to need to really brace through the core. One is gonna to wanna to fold in the middle a little bit, so you wanna keep nice and strong as you push really high. Again, I, I doubled over the core dip, it's, it's, or else I have to come too close to the camera. But you can reduce the resistance by just 
hooking one handle over the door handle and then using the full length of the cord. Along with that, good stuff. I'm going to take the cord off completely, wrap it around, hands above your head, and pull down. We've got a very wide room here, so a bit limited on space. But from up high, keeping the arms long, pulling down, all the way down. Imagine you're making a snow angel with the biggest wings possible here. And this is activating the lats as you pull wide from here. And control it all the way down. Nice and tall, shoulder blades low and seated. And we're done. Good stuff. We're going to take the band in our hands again, and this time we're going to pull wide. So, pulling wide. Now, what's really key here is that you pull from the muscles that feel like they're in between the shoulder blades around the spine. Try to make sure the back of the arms isn't doing too much work. You want to keep the arms straight and you might find that while the first pull was quite easy, you're now starting to fatigue. Ten seconds to go. Keep the chest tall and keep the core engaged. Now we're going to do the opposite exercise. So again, hook this over your door handle. Try not to pull straight. Hands behind. And you're going to pull as a chest fly. So we're just warming up still. So this is a controlled movement making sure you're working the full range. You might find, if like me, the anchor point is lower than your arms, that it's pulling your arms down, that it's uncomfortable. In which case, you can kneel down, pull here, and it targets the chest a little bit more than the top of the shoulders. Good stuff. We've got one more exercise, and that is little breaststroke pulls. So you're going to get down nice and low, and you're going to draw little circles as if you're stirring two pudding bowls here. So you're always under tension. You've got less tension at the front, and you're just trying to keep the elbows high as you push down, stirring little circles. This is obviously similar to a breaststroke catch. Keep the elbows high. Good stuff. So that's the end of the warm up. If you feel like you're not warm enough, you can pause the video, go back to the start, and then do that whole sequence again. If you're ready to move on, then we're gonna move on to the main set now. So get ready, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna run through two sets of six exercises. Those six exercises run in our upper body, upper body core, upper body, upper body core, pattern that's to really target swim specific muscles. So I'm going to run through the first set now. Remember if you need more resistance, tie a knot in your resistance band so that it's a bit shorter or just step away from your anchor point and that will mean that you've got more resistance and it's going to work the muscles a little bit harder but it's down to you to make sure that you get a really really good workout out of these exercises that we're about to go through. So here we go with the first set. 
I'm going to use my swim cords that are hanging from the top of the door and our first exercise is going to be fly pulls. So we want core drawn in, back nice and flat, I don't want to see the back arching over and we're going to simply high elbow, pull back, recover. High elbow, pull back, recover, but we're going to do it really dynamically like this for the full 45 seconds there's your first exercise from there we're going to go straight into you know turn around we're going to grab the cords behind us and we're going to go into a chest fly so by the end of those two 45 second phases you should have really felt swim specific muscles working from here we're going to put the cords back and go down the floor for some water kicks but we lie on the floor, feet up, hands in the air, lower back pressed in, and we kick for 45 seconds. We come back up, we grab the pull cords, we go, same body position, straight arm pulls. This time, you want those arms nice and long, shoulder blades seated low, and then we go tricep extension, so from standing, Push them down, push down, push down, push down. Really target the triceps and that strength at the back end of the stroke. We then come back down on the mat and we go T-sit. So, arms overhead, feet outstretched. Throw the arms forward to crunch and we have 45 seconds of that movement. They are your first six exercises. We're gonna run through those twice and we're gonna start first one in about eight seconds time. So we've got butterfly pull throughs for reps. Ready? And off we go. So make sure you get that high elbow catch at the front. Keep the elbows high. And that means you really engage those lats. Push. And all the way back to full extension. This should be a really dynamic exercise. So pushing hard, going for reps. Here we go, take up, come on, push, 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 nice and hard. You need to replicate the feeling of a sprint, effort in the pool. Chest flies coming up for this. Good stuff. Swap the hands over. Back to the door, back to your anchor point. Nice and strong start. And here we go. We're looking to thunder clap in. If you remember the World Cup, World Cup, European Championships. Can't remember football anyway. A big Icelandic thunder clap. A big long arms clap in. Control it on the way back. Look. Concentric movement on the way in. Eccentric control movement on the way back. Going for reps. It's good. We've got 15 seconds to go, and then our body gets a break, and we move into flutter kicks. So, big fatigue game, guys, come on. Feel your way into the exercise. Push. Good stuff. Drop the cords. Oh, not literally like me. On the mat, four flutter kicks. So, I know we don't have a very good angle here for the camera, but it's best I can do. So, the lower you take your heels, the higher the stress, the faster you kick, the higher the stress. You want your lower back pushed into the mat, nice and firm. That's the thing that you want to make sure the lower back doesn't arch up. You need to lift your head and lift your legs to make that lower back push in. That's absolutely fine. Find your own limit if you want to make it harder. Arms down over your head, feet down towards the floor. Kick from the hips nice and straight. Keep working. There we go. That's our flutter kicks. Now we're back to the full cords. So we want full cords on the door, nice and firm, straight arm pulls this time. There we go. Double arm, straight arm pulls. Nice and dynamic. Pull back full range. Where you want your 
hands to shoot out the water. Got full extension at the back of your stroke. And in your stance here, you need your back to be nice and flat, bum pushed out. We don't want the back arch, you can feel it in your lower back. Push that part of your body down, bum stuck out, abs drawn in. Straight arms, target the lats. Go for reps, come on, push, good stuff. So that was chest and lats. We're now gonna target triceps with a standing tricep push. Good, and push down. We want shoulder blades low, shoulders low, elbows tucked into the side, push down, control recovery, push down, control recovery. Too easy, take a step back. Don't have enough room behind you, come down to the floor. Anything you need to do to get the feeling of really stressing that tricep muscle. We've got a core exercise coming up next. Keep pushing, full extension on the arms. That's time, good stuff. We're onto the floor for our dynamic T-sit. Hardcore exercise, this one. Arms overhead, off we go. And crunch up, again, I know it's not a good angle on the camera, but you get the idea. You shouldn't be looking at the laptop screen anyway. Or the screen. You should just be doing the exercise. So crunching up nice and dynamic, keep those arms long, throw them over. The crucial thing about this exercise is you don't want your lower back to arch when you're at full extension. If you find that happening, put your hands across your chest as I'm doing now. If it's still too much, hands by the sides as I am now. And then you reduce the strain on those abs and the lower back. We're nearly at the end of set one. That's set one. Now, back to the start guys. One more step. Let's go. We're on five pulls. As we get that resistance. There we go. And pull straight into it. Nice and dynamic. Step back if you need more resistance. Bum stuck out, abs drawn in. Pitch the belly button up towards the spine. Stick your bum out, keep the elbows high. At the front of the movement, you can push forward. Push your shoulders forward. Lift the elbows up to get that high elbow catch and then fire back. Push, push, nice and rapid. Big bunk, you go for reps. Push, 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 what? Good stuff. We've done those straight arm flies. We've now got the chest fly. So we're turning around. Quick transition, this one. Strong body. We'll clap together. I've got enough of this there. So we're going to step forward. Let's make this hard. It is a big challenge. Remember, we're trying to replicate the feeling of some hard reps in the pool here. So we want to be getting the heart rate up on this exercise as well. Try and keep your body absolutely stable. That's going to mean you need to control through the glutes and through the core, stabilizing muscles when we're in the pool as well. So it's not an exact replication, but it's a close approximation. Plus of kicks next. Good. Bands can return them to their ankle point. Down on the floor, flutter kicks with straight legs. Hold that lower back into the mat. Off we go, 45 seconds. Come on guys, stick with me. We are halfway through, nearly halfway through. The first set. Challenge yourself on this one. Take your arms over your head, as I am, if you want to. Take your heels closer to the floor, as I am, now the gap shot, if you can, without the lower back arching up. That's what you want to watch out for. Keep those abs tight, and remember to breathe. A big exhale will engage those deep 
core muscles. Keep working, guys. Come on. Straight arm pull next. There we go. There's the pattern. Straight arm pull. Good back. Standing up. Resistance cords. Get that good stance again. Skier stance if you like. Straight arm pull. Again, really long arms here. Full range, but with maximum speed. See if you can keep up with me. I'll try and set challenging tempo here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's good. Arms long. Should feel it in the muscles just below the shoulder blades here. Uh, good effort, guys. Come on. Begin. Heart rate should be building. <sighs> good. Now, standing tricep press. Again, make it challenging. I'm going to go to my knees, I think, again. Elbows locked in. Shoulders low. There's the claxon. Fire it down. Push. 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 Come on. About as hard as you can on the push down, and then about half the speed on the recovery. So that again, we're getting that concentric push into the floor, nice and dynamic, firing us through the water, in our minds at least. And then a slower uh, recovery, tricep still contracted, the eccentric contraction, that will build muscle stiffness. So you're really key to overall strength. Uh, core exercise coming up. There we go. Now we're on to our final set of T-sits. Then we move on to set number two. But let's finish this strong. Commit to it, guys. Come on. Arms overhead. Crunch in. Arms on the chest, across the chest if you need to. Crunch in. If you can't do that, arms by the side. It's fine. If you still need to make it easier, feet a bit further up in the air, heels higher will help. If you want to make it harder, keep the heels close to the floor. Keep the hands, get the hands all the way back. Full range of movement. <sighs> Exhale on the way up to activate those deep core muscles. Dynamic exercise here, really explosive, will help you to get explosive tumble turns. <sighs> Draw in through the abs. There we go, time. Good stuff, guys. That's the end of our first set. So now we're going to move on to the second set. And I'm going to talk you through that next. So now let's move on to the second of our two sets. Six more exercises. Upper body, upper body, core. Upper body, upper body, core. And the exercises are these. So the first one. We're going to assume that low down position again. We're going to go arms wide and we're going to pull through here. So flat back and like you're doing a big snow angel movement to really target the lats. Pulling back to straight. There's your first upper body. Your second one. Then keep hold of the cords and you're going to go bent over single arm. Pull through for reps. If you want to go alternating then you can get even more reps in oh, and put a bit of rotation into your body. The third exercise, we go down on the back for our core exercise and we go side plank, crunch, rotate to plank, up to side plank, crunch, rotate, rotate, crunch. So bring a nice straight body line. We then go back onto the full course for our next two upper body exercises. And we've got fly pull throughs again. You know this one. Fly pull throughs from the first set. We're doing them again. So specific, great exercise. From there, I'm going to change which cord I'm using. So I want a bit more tension, but we're going to do a row. So we're going to start, palms down, and we're going to pull elbows in, palms up, shoulder blades low. Pull. There we go. Pull up there. Pull and rotate the shoulder blades low, that targets the lats. Then we go down onto the mat, 
we hold a plank position, arms or elbows, hips and pelvis close to the floor, straight body line, alternating leg lift if you can. Those are our exercises. So let's go. First one is going to be snow angels or iron cross. We're going 45 seconds on, 10 seconds off, exactly the same as the first set. We're going for the first one in five seconds. Big iron cross or snow angels, ready? There's the claxon. 45 seconds of these. We're going to go twice through. And then it's up to you. If you want to go through this again, you most certainly can do as much as you need to do to feel those swim specific muscles work. You want to keep the body nice and stable, don't let it rock back and forward too much. You can do that by keeping the glutes engaged and the core sucked in and tight. 10 seconds to go. Match reps, come on. It's a tough one. Good stuff. So now we go on to the single arm pull through. That last exercise is very lats dominant. This is very chest dominant. I'm going opposites on my arms. So when one's at the back, the other one's at the front. But I'm going to try and keep my body really, really straight and strong. I'm going to make sure the hips aren't twisting. And then as I push down at the front, if I keep my arms long, I can feel my chest really work on the push down. And then it just gets to the lats when I just squeeze at the back end of this one. Straight arms, long as you can, 10 seconds. Then we're into a core exercise. Really good work, guys. Keep it up. Good stuff. Now we're into our rotating plank exercise. So, there we go. Down on the mat. Up we go. Rotate round to the other side. Crunch. Rotate round. Other side. Crunch. Rotate round. As you rotate, I want you to keep your body line as straight as possible. So like your shoulders and your pelvis is connected. Crunch on each side. Got our third favourite, the fly pull throughs next. And I need to plug my laptop in. Real world, real world problems. Fly pull throughs. Let's go. We're going for reps on this. We've got the upright standing row next. It's a different muscle group. Well, not entirely, but different range. So we can push this full extension at the back. Chin down, neck long. Good. I'm changing which cord I'm using so I've got more resistance. And we're stepping back. Palms down. Strong stance. Pull elbows in. We're going to take palms up, pinch at the back, pull back dynamically, and hold, release, pull and hold, release, pull and hold. You can pop that chest out, chin up, chest out, flat back, core engaged, shoulder blades low, and you'll feel it working just below your shoulder blades. You've got 15 seconds to go, and then we go on our plank leg lifts. And that will be the end of our first round. And stuff. So guys, down on the floor. I know you've not got the best angle for the picture here, but best I can do. Plank, leg lift, ready. 
fast enough. We go. So, if this is already hard enough to plank, just hold a strong plank position with the abs engaged, core engaged, breathing deeply. A so really strong exhale will engage those deep lower muscles. If you want to make it harder, do as I'm doing, alternating leg lift. If you want to make it even harder than that, alternating arm and leg, leg lift. Opposite arm, opposite leg. But only do that if you can keep the pelvis absolutely stable when you lift the feet or the arm off the floor. Keep breathing. Nearly there. Good stuff. That's us through our first set. So now we're back to the iron cross. We're through this set one more time. Stay strong. Stay with me. You're not feeling it working. Just want to increase the resistance or increase the amount you're doing. So easiest is just to step back. If you've got no room to step back, increase the resistance, put a knot, put a loop in the pull cord, and that will make it harder. If you've done that and you get to the end of this and it's still too easy, go back. Do the second set. We'll do the whole thing again. You want to. Good stuff. Single arm pull throughs. For reps on this one, it's a really simple movement. Ready? Keep that bone stuck out. Back flat. Moving the arms opposite to each other but stabilizing through the core. That's what the core does. There to stabilize. So keep it braced. You should be able to look down at your pelvis and it should look completely set, not wiggling from side to side. You're ah. so nearly there on this whole session, guys. Stay with it. Three, four, four more exercises to go. Hard to think. Good stuff. So we're down on the floor for our rotating plank. Ready? Up we go. And crunch. Rotate. Crunch. Ah. It's really hard to keep that body line when you're tired, but just fight to do it, rolling from your feet side to side, you should be able to do this. This actually as well is a really good shoulder stability exercise, so we're working quite a lot through the muscles as we go through the shoulders if you rotate the plank to the side. Camera angle's not great, you should be looking at that, just keep working. Ah, there we go. Last two upper body exercises. We've got our fly pull throughs. Reps on this one. Off we go. It's a short recovery and that's intentional. We want to be cramming the work in here and overloading the muscle by just not giving it enough time to recover. That's going to help maintain and maybe even build a muscular endurance. Snap these back to your hips, control it forward. Snap, control, snap, control, snap, control. Push, push, push. Really good guys, 10 seconds. All you've got, last time on this exercise. Good stuff, onto your row motion. Loads of resistance on the band. Pull it back. Chest out, chin up. Good posture here. Come around a bit. Let's see the position. So palms down to palms up. Elbows in. Shoulder blades low. As you bring the elbows back, push them down towards the floor. Down and back. Down and back. Down and back. Uh, keep 
that strength through the upper back. It's gonna keep your posture good. Nothing else. Good stuff. On to the final exercise. We're going back down onto the mat. We're doing a plank with the leg raises. Ready? Off you go. Push yourself on this one. Try and think about getting the longest line you can from your heels or your toes to the top, the crown of your head. Keep that lower back flat. Core engaged. Last exercise all the way to the line, guys. And that's it. You. Well, maybe you're done, maybe you're not. I'll let you into a secret. I already filmed that, but then I accidentally deleted the file. So I have to go back and do it again. Maybe you want to do it again as well. Do the second set again, do the whole thing again. Entirely up to you. Either way, do that three, four, five times a week, and you'll maintain strength. Maybe even build some muscular endurance. Keep that swim specific fitness. That you need when you get back in the water. Stay healthy, stay safe, and hopefully you'll be back in the pool very, very soon. Thanks guys, well done.